Hey guys, it's Rob, just flying my little park zone course here down at the local park. And uh, this is the, the last flight because I want to get home and uh, give my 450 MT a flight with the uh, the new rotors and the new servo. I've uh, had a beautiful afternoon just flying these fixed wings in the calm conditions. And let's go. What have we got? The timer. That timer's useless. It needs to be a down timer. Here we go. Away we go. That wasn't real straight on the runway. What a beautiful, stable aeroplane this is. I bought this one before I even really got into the helicopters. And, uh, Ready, I'm going to go climb. Alright, darling. Where are you going? Climbing over there. Okay, just be careful. Okay. Just got a 10 year old daughter with me. I just had to separate the kids, they were fighting too much. So I brought one of them down to the park with me to fly these aeroplanes. I think when I bought this, it was a, an, a ready-to-fly model. It came with a uh, Spectrum DX5, which I've since given away. I've given away about three of those. And I got them with uh, a couple of the other Park Zone models as well. Just got no need for a DX5. It can't be used on helicopters, so... Gave one to my uh, father-in-law, and I gave one to my brother. And I honestly can't remember what I did with the last one. I think I might have given it to my friend Jason. So this one's flying on the DX6i, which is the first 2.4 gig radio I ever bought. And uh, it's been a beautiful radio, flawless, nice and smooth. And never had any of the uh, issues that some of the radios had. And I still use this to fly uh, all my park zone aircraft, fixed wings, except the Striker. The Striker I've got on the DX8, and I've still got my little XE450 helicopter on this radio, so it's just proven to be ultra reliable and it's never let me down. Oh, what a beautiful thing to do on a calm afternoon. Literally just where it is now, if I flew another 100 metres I'd be over the ocean. Just on the other side of that road is uh, the Indian Ocean. I'm just near a place called Hillary's Boat Harbour. close to the houses. This whole area is just full of uh, huge houses that they call McMansions. It's just littered with them. It's quite a, an affluent suburb down here near the, uh, near the ocean. I don't know what you can see on the camera but there's nothing, <laughs> nothing under about a five bedroom mansion within sight. Ah, very nice. Just drop the power and come past for a low pass. Freaky. How are you going, darling? That was freaky. It just floats in front of you. Just what? That was freaky. It was just floating in front of you. Yeah, I had the power off. I'm just going to bring the power off again. The power's off now, so it's just gliding. How nice is that? Look at that. Landed. You want to go home, don't you? <laughs> Why? I just want you to land on the runway. I will. 
the Can time the, the timer will be up soon. It won't be long before I have to land anyway. Does it beep? Yeah, it does. It's not as safe as you think landing on this uh, cricket pitch runway because the surface is hard and it's got a few little uh, lines in that the wheels can catch, but I'll give it a go. It's always much safer to land on grass. Because if I miss a line, it, there's a lip on the uh, edge of the cricket pitch which the wheels will catch on and uh, that's pretty likely. Anyway, there's the timer. Let's see what I can do. You've got hair all over your t-shirt. Really? Yep. I think you're losing hair. I don't know what, oh, thanks darling. I am getting old, you know. Yeah. Watch out, you're watching out? Yeah, 46. No, I'll go around and do that again. You gotta stop talking to me if you want me to land on the cricket pitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try again. Almost. How about I go around and try it again? Ugh. And it is a nose in landing, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter with aeroplanes. Oh. <laughs> Roxy, you almost killed me. I didn't kill you, it might have given you a slight bruise. 